Hey, 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 hey. So I have decided to go ahead and film a full face um, tutorial. My eyes are already done. I did this smoky halo type situation with the pop of glitter. I have been loving this glitter for the past few months. This is the NYX Dramatic Sparkle um, Liquid Liner in the color Crystal Gold. It, it is the bomb mother freaking diggity, let me tell you. Every time I feel like I need to slay, this is one of my go-tos. And now to the face. So I have a lot of people asking me questions about highlight, contour. I got a ton, a ton of questions specifically about highlight and contour because there are so many different versions. Um, cream, liquid, of course. Uh, you have to color match to your face, see which shades work for you, which shades don't really. And then you have to go through... Um, and set all of that and then on top do a powder contour and a shimmery highlight. So I just decided to go ahead and break it down, break it down, break it down. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. I decided maybe that it would be really beneficial to make a video about it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So you guys, uh, my face is already moisturized and I'm sorry, I'm looking for my primer. Ah, there we go. Uh, my face is already moisturized. You can use any moisturizer that you so choose. I'm going to spray my face with the Revolution Makeup. Well, yeah, it's just Revolution. And then this is the Pro Fix, the oil control. And to just, you know, go for it. Just a light layer at first. <sighs> oh, it tastes terrible. Ugh. Just a light layer at first. Ugh. Oh, God, that's terrible. But this is the NYX Soft Focus Primer. I like to use my finger because I feel like it pushes it into my skin more. So I don't want to cheat you guys. Like I said, I had already moisturized my face with a mixture of the Tarte Maracuja Oil and then just any lotion because since it is the winter, I do get crazy dry. It's crazy. Like, my nose be flaking and some more shit whatever um so i'm gonna go in with foundation next you guys know i have been loving the number seven stay perfect foundation and this is in the color chestnut i have been loving this foundation recently so what i'm gonna do is just take a couple of pumps on the back of my hand and then i'm gonna of course dot all over my face and usually i take a real technique sponge but all of mine are dirty so i'm just gonna take this and it is damp so I'm going to take that and blend that out. Sometimes if I'm feeling extra, much like I do now, I will go in with a um, color correcting concealer to hide these like circular situations. So I'm just going to take a small amount of the LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange corrector yep I'm gonna take that bad boy and I'm gonna take that same sponge into Whew. I gotta itch oh no I'm just gonna look at that just a little bit closer just to make sure everything is like everything uh. and again the sponge is damp and we are golden, baby. We're more like orange. But, you know, that's neither here or there. So now, people, now, 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 what I'm going to do, um, I am going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I know y'all have heard about this. Everybody's been ranting and raving about it. Ever since I got it, I've been in love with it. I haven't been able to put it down. This combination has been my absolute fave. Not too much, but it's just enough to be like, yeah, slay and So... Um, this is the Shape Tape Concealer in the color Deep. So I'm going to put that right here. And this applicator is so huge. Oh my God, that's what she said. So I'm going to put some right here. And then also like right there, guys. And like I said, I'm feeling a little extra tonight. So we're going to do Cupid's Bow and Chin. Now, let me tell y'all something, okay, just real quick. Um, I feel like I have a big forehead, especially since I have a middle part, and I'm pretty sure y'all see my closure just sitting on top of my head, just chilling. That's fine. Whatever. We're going to fix it. Um, so, I don't like to highlight my... And that's way too much. I don't like to highlight my forehead anymore. 
I do sometimes if I feel the need. Mm -hmm. And then I am actually going to wet my Real Technique sponge, the really tiny one. We've wet that. Just dampen it a little bit. You see how big it got? Crazy, right? Blending that out. I start low and then with very little product, I take that directly under the eye. Take it pretty far down. So like right there, I take it right on top of the chin. I mean the cheekbone. Just going to take literally just a little bit of that product. And sculpt the nose a little bit. Use it. Just to deposit that color onto my cheeks. And so, now what we're going to do, take that same Real Technique sponge and go over that. Then I'm going to go in with my foundation sponge. Woo, child, look at that. <laughs> And then if I'm feeling frisky, I'll even do that, right? Nobody's going to see that part of my face. But like I said, if I'm feeling frisky, which I do, I'll go around the perimeter with the excess product. Even bring it down here, but flip it over. So that ain't riding too low. You know what I'm saying? You don't want it riding too low. CMA New Color Translucent Powder. Really difficult to use. Ain't even going to lie because of the packaging, but... I just poured a little bit in this old LA Girl Pro Concealer Powder, um, and I just go for it. Oh, here it is. So I have a mixture of the RCMA powder um, with a little bit of the Airspun powder, and the, R the Airspun powder is just the smell. I can't get with the smell. It's too much. It's too much. I can't handle it. My first time using this brush, I got this from the beauty supply store. It's um, Ofa, not o o Ofra, but it's Ofa Beauty. I love these brushes. Um, I got another one, and this wipes away my powder. But I, these brushes are so sturdy. The handle is so long. The bristles are so soft. They're perfect. They're spread out wonderfully. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of that just to set the nose with because I get really oily around the nose. It's, I look like I've been sniffing cocaine. Look. <laughs> I'm going to let that set for just a moment on my nose, but underneath my eye, I'm going to go ahead and gently brush that away. And... I'm actually going to use that same brush to go in with my, to set my foundation. Because if I don't, I'll be like just this shiny, ridiculous mess or whatever. So I'm using the tried and true um, NW48 in the Studio Fix by MAC. I'm going to swirl that in here. I've not used this brush for this before. So I'm actually really excited to see how it works out for us. But I'm just going to dab. Mm -hmm. Pick up some more. We're good on that. I'm going to shut him up. It's almost time for me to get another one. He's lasted me probably all year. And I still have a little bit left to go. So, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go in with um, a couple of colors, actually, that I like to use for contour. Usually I just use the one and that's, it's like a one and done type situation, but like I said, I'm feeling a little frisky today. So I'm going to go in with a MAC blush. I'm pretty sure this is called Blunt. Um, looks like this. I don't, the words aren't on there, so we're just going to, and then with a really light hand. Yep, that looks about right. However, I want a little bit more. Give me more. And I'm going to do that, that, a little bit of that. Take a little swivel, pull the weaves back, do a little bit more of that. So that's like a good base, right? That's a good start. At least I think so. 
you know, kind of gives some color, but it's not like, boom, girl, you like, you on fleek. So you, I, I need to go in with this extra step. So I'm going to take another MAC blush. It was at one point an eyeshadow. I'm going to take the edge, just the edge. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. That's what... Well, y'all can see. Whatever. Whatever. I'm going to fix it. So, same situation. On the edge. Then I'm going to take this huge powder brush. Circular motions. Feeling just a little bit extra, you know. Um, I am going to add a little bit of that blunt to my nose contour just take it on the tip i don't know if this is going to make a difference or not i feel like it is so i'm going to do it right just do it just do it make sure you bring it on up in here add a little bit of that oh i like that that looks pretty good to me. Um, we being extra today, right? Y'all cool with me being extra? Okay, cool. I'm cool with you being cool with me being extra. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that RCMA powder. Literally just the smallest amount. Going to take this bit of brush. Ooh. And... Kind of carve that area out and then just blend it right out. Same on this side. Blow the rest of that powder away. Like you do them haters. So now we are going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. Favorite. Absolute favorite. I like to mix bronze and tourmaline. You guys know this. I'm going to take a little bit of both. More of bronze, though. And then just with a really light hand. Excuse me. <laughs> on the back of my cheek. And I do want a little pop underneath the brow. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay brush. Came in the Naked 3 palette. And take a little bit of that bronze. Just press it on there. Get my mirror, where my mirror, I need my mirror. And we're gonna go right underneath that arch. Ah, uh, yes. So, setting my face again with the Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. It's new from Revolution. <laughs> All right, and we are done. I need a little volume up in this area. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me put some lifts up in it. Yes, honey. So we're done, guys. This is the final look. So a full face. With this really pretty, oh, I'm just, I'm so obsessed with this eye. As you guys know already, I said it during the tutorial. All of that getting great jazz. Um, oh, that is my full face tutorial. You guys got the full shebang. So you guys got moisturizing. No, you didn't. You guys got priming. You guys got, um, yep, so priming, highlight, contour, all of that good and great jazz. If you guys have any questions or anything of that nature, definitely leave them below. We're not even going to pay attention to this closure because it's my, it has a mind of its own. So, all right, guys, that is it. I'm going to sign off. We are out of here. I hope you guys really, really like this look because I absolutely adore it. If you have any questions, like I said earlier, just let me know. And I got you. I got you. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.